always a rainbow within reach on animal So good to see you again. The rest of the gang is already here. Let's see what Pig is up to. Hi, Pig. What are you painting? Can you tell what it is? A blue bird. That's right. Let's see if you can guess what my other paintings are. What's this? A blue butterfly. Yes! And what's this? Hmm, it looks like a blue shoe. That's right! What's this one? That's a blue dragon. Rawr! Did you notice something about all my paintings? Look again. I painted a blue bird a blue butterfly, a blue shoe, and a blue dragon. What do they all have in common? They're all blue. That's right. Today, I'm only painting blue things. Pig's paintings give me an idea. Let's make blue our special color of the day. Crunching leaves, but only blue leaves. <gasps> I see one. Let's look for more. Let's look for one more. Do you see it? There it is. <laughs> We did it! <laughs> Yay! See you! Pig, Fox, I'm going to show you a new way of painting. Ooh. Um, I don't see any paint brushes. That's right, Fox. We're not going to paint with paint brushes. Huh? Huh? We're going to paint with sponges. Ready to see what happens? Uh -huh. Okay. Do you want to start with blue paper or red paper? Mm, blue, please. And I'll take red, please. Great. Now, pick up a sponge. Dip it in the yellow paint. 
and start painting. Oh, 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 look, my paper is turning orange. Because red and yellow make orange. My paper is turning green. That's right. <gasps> look how smooth it looks. I'm tapping my sponge. <laughs> it looks rough, like, like rocks. Smooth and rough are textures. Say it after me. Textures. Textures. I'm done. Me too. Let's hang up your paintings and look at them. What's something that's the same about your paintings? We both painted with sponges. That's right. What else? We both painted with yellow. Yes. And what's something different about your paintings? Mine came out green. And Pig's is orange. And my painting is rough, but Fox's is smooth. That's right. Now, what do we do when we're done painting? We go play. Uh-huh. But first... We clean up. Oh, right. That's right. Let's clean up together. Okay. okay. Which octopus is blue? There it is. Blue octopus. Which pants are blue? There it is. Blue pants. Which bird is blue? There it is. Blue bird. Which balloon is blue? There it is. Blue balloon. Very good. It's story time. Yay! Get around, everyone. What book are we reading? We're reading this one. It's called Small Bird's Big Adventure. Small Bird lives with a giant. See if you can guess who the giant really is. Let's see what happens. Let's begin. Small Bird's Big Adventure Written by Nick Mulgrew Illustrated by Wesley Van Eden Designed by Jennifer Jacobs Small Bird was a small bird. He was very small and very birdy. Small Bird lived in a beautiful house with the giant. Small Bird loved the giant very much. She was a kind giant. She gave Small Bird lots of toys. Small Bird was sad when the giant wasn't around, so one day Small Bird went to find the giant. Small Bird flew up and up until he could see the whole world. He wanted to find the giant. Where would he land? Small Bird landed in a huge forest filled with trees and flowers and treasure. Small Bird loved playing with the shiny jewels. But where was the giant? Small Bird walked into a vast field of snow. The snow was white and soft. Small Bird loved rolling around on the cool ground. But where was the giant? This time, Small Bird flew even higher into the sky. He flew among the stars and galaxies. He saw the moon. He saw a comet. But where was the giant? From way up high, with his sharp, birdy eyes, Small Bird saw something. 
What could it be? Small Bird dived down, down, down. Where would he land? Small Bird landed right in the giant's hands. He was so happy to see her. I love you, giant, he shrieked. The giant held Small Bird close to her. I love you too, the giant said. The End Thank you, Mr. Goose. Thank you for reading with me. Kids, it's time for a sing-along with Mr. Frog. Yay! Remember to say hello when you see him. Hello, kids! Hello, Mr. Frog! I'm going to teach you a song called I'm a Little Teapot. And look what I have in my backpack. A banjo! I'll sing the song first, then you sing along with me. OK, let's begin. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Now this time, we'll all sing together, OK? OK! Yeah! Yes! I'm ready! Here we go! I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle, here is my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Well done! Thank you, Mr. Frog! Thank you for singing with me! Goodbye! Here's something we already did. Let's do it again! Hey, everybody! Let's practice our letters by playing the alphabet game! Yay! I want to hear you, too! Let's all play the alphabet game When I show you a letter, say its name Are you ready? Yeah! What's this letter? I! What's this letter? J! What's this letter? L! What's this letter? T! Now let's do it fast! When you see a letter, you say its name! Woo! The letter T! Together and monkey around. Goodbye, friend. I'm glad we got to play together today. Goodbye. And now it's time to say goodbye. Let's sing our goodbye song. Goodbye, goodbye. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, goodbye. Let's stop to say goodbye before we say hello again. We need to say goodbye. Goodbye, friend. Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. <laughs> time to rest. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Good. Listen. Ah. 
Hush a bye, baby, on the treetop. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. Tree top. When 